Hey, what's up, guys? This is <coughs> LG Allied, and um, right now I'm on chemotherapy, but I do want it to go over the motherfucking patch notes. Um, 4.5 is coming out, and they are—I I haven't even gotten into it. I didn't—I didn't watch the the vod. I've been very sick, so hopefully I can get through this. Um, we're gonna go over the art, the whatever the fuck they're. I don't even know what I was trying to do anymore. I just—I don't even know. I don't know, but we're gonna go through it piece by piece. So the first thing is um, Star Voyage on her. Now, like, I'm not too impressed for this skin. I'll probably get it because, like, fuck it. But, like, realistically, it's cool. I, I, I guess you just have to really be into, like, the metallic -y Gundam star space, I don't know, kind of lore. But, um, yeah, overall, it's, like, it's whatever to me. Um, star Tamer Bastet. Same thing. This one actually looks a lot cooler. Um, I shout out to the titties. Uh, I feel overall, uh, yeah, the skin was done pretty fucking well. I'm not gonna lie. C compared to the Star uh, Alliance or on her, and then Star Eater Capri. This one actually looks pretty dope. Like this, this reminds me of you. I'm sure you guys have played Halo like growing up, and you know, like the Arbiter and like the fucking Covenant and. It reminds me of like it, like if one of their weapons were like alive and it would shoot like that. I feel like it's a big particle cannon. Like I don't know, it, it just it's pretty fucking cool. Star Strike Neath. I'm sure this can be like a bundle package thing. They're gonna do with all this. This one, this one is actually pretty cool. Shout out to the underboob. Um, very glassy harness. God bless. And then Star Scribe Thoth. Um, this one you actually can't really tell. Like, I don't, I just see, this seems like more of a recolored, if anything, like, honestly, but, um, we'll see, maybe it's different in-game, like, an in-game, and mastery update on the best that, nice, nice, now she, uh, she's not completely gold, so, and, uh, they, oh yeah, they remodeled Poseidon, which I thought was so random, because, like, Poseidon's model right now is okay, like, I've, I've never really heard a complaint, but, no, he's, he's updated, nipples. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, like, he looks cool. He still looks good. Uh, we'd have to see how uh, it looks like in-game. So, the Celestial Voyage event. Discover the world of ancient hieroglyphics as you enjoy your favorite Egyptian gods. And oh, that's right. These guys are all Egyptian. That's cool. Um, along with your journey, unlock secrets. So, this is probably, like, some big fucking thing where you're, like, gonna spend a million bucks to get, uh, these skins. So, yeah. Like, get ready to spend money, guys. Because, uh... That's what Hires is going for, but I do I, I do enjoy the Celestial Voyage. I think it's a, a cute little theme. And achievements, taking out. Okay, we're not going to go over achievements because that doesn't actually fucking matter. All items, gods, abilities, and relics should now properly follow slow stacking rules. Okay, so item slow effects are the strong are all strongest wins. This means the strongest slow applied by an item is the only slow that will affect a god. If a target was afflicted by Frostbound Hammer and Poison Star, they would only be slow by 30% since Frostbound's 30% slow is a stronger effect. Oh, okay, so like, I, I get it. I, I, I see what Harris did here. That's a, that's a pretty good change. Uh, updated the list of items and relics that are announced on your team purchased. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, clan banning. Clan is now banned players using the Synthex slash clan ban player name. And you could unban them. So, a player must be kicked from the clan before they can be banned from the clan. Oh, I get it. So, like, so that way they don't get invited back, I guess. So, you just ban them, right? That, I mean, that, that would, I don't know. Maybe, like, some randoms are having issues with their clans. Like, I don't, I've never had that, that problem. So, whatever. Um, flickering rituals. Let's see. Oh, shit, my brother's home. My hand. Just listen. Yeah, yeah, he's he's wild. Um, oh, okay. So I do apologize to hear my brother in the background. All right, so item changes. Flicker and Ritual. In 4.3, Flicker and Ritual had an unintended nerf in our internal system. We attempted reducing its range. Blah, 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 blah. Rituals are dumb anyway. Um, so we watched close to see if we want something with hot flakes. Instead, we saw a large reduction in frustration from players around the, the ritual. It's still it's still dumb. Doesn't matter that the uh, frustration has went down. It's still dumb. 
While we saw active play due to this, we are keeping both cost adjustments from 4.3 and the unintended range nerf to make it an official change. Okay, whatever. Um, Hydra Star. Hydra's limit has become a core on many assassins, giving them a large power spike in the early game, allowing them to take control of the early game very quickly. We want to slow down this particular build path just a bit. So they're nerfing this again. Hydra Star is seeing a cost increase for players to commit into the build a little bit more. Okay. So, um... To get tier two, which generally was like pretty cheap, and it was a lot of stats for a tier two and I like the, I've seen players build tier two of Hydra's Lament and just kind of like not finish it. Like that's how good it is, right? Um, but Hydra's Lament remains the same cost, but now it's just uh, I get I guess they just readjusted how you're going to buy it, so you have to really commit to getting it. Uh, so I, overall, I think this is a good change. I like it. Um, Mental of Discord. Uh, while I just did cooldown reduction items, blah, 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 a 40% camp without going over or something. Mental Discord is seeing this change as well as receiving a price change to compensate for the change. So they decreased the cooldown reduction, but they lowered the cost, which is pretty good considering that usually by the time you get to Mental of Discord, you, that's generally like your fifth or sixth item if you if you want to be tanky. But the the problem was that it gave cooldown reduction, right? But generally you, you got your cooldown reduction items earlier on. So the cooldown reduction got kind of wasted, so I I, I I don't mind this change at all. Mark of the Vanguard, thank God. Definitely has to be a nerf. Um, we, we saw a routine, uh, team stacking Mark of the Vanguard together, very tanky team early on, toning down the strength of Mark of the Vanguard to bring the strategy more in line with different build paths and team compositions to ensure the competitive team remains healthy. I love this change. Uh, Mark of the Vanguard's fucking dumb and stupid. And fucking dumb. Like, it, it just was... You were just way too tanky. Like, people would just build Mark of the Vanguard, and that's it. Like, they are in... Oh, like, unkillable. It, it, it was just insane. Um, Master Moon is an interesting hybrid item with very aggressive stats, rewarding you with defenses, engaging the enemy. This item is seeing an increase in defense and passive. Um, provides to encourage... Okay, blah, blah, blah. What, what, what the fuck's the point? Increase the passive protections provided by each stack from five to seven. Okay, so Hyrus has a thing. They have like a fetish. When an item isn't being built, they just like buff it and buff it and buff it until people are like, wow, this item's actually fucking broken. So I, I think Mass Immune is probably the next item that's gonna like get buffed and buffed and buffed until like people start building it and they're gonna be like, oh, this item's actually like the best item in the fucking game. So that, that I think that's where Mass Immune's going. Um, this is overall. I don't know. We, you'd have to really test this this change out. Um, relic stacking changes. So relics and relic upgrades could stack, which encourage strange game state of never wanting to upgrade your relic. Is the teammate already has an upgraded relic? We have fixed it now, so relics and relic upgrades will no longer stack with themselves. All relics have been updated not to stack from the upgraded form. This includes cursed ankh, heavenly horrific, magic shell. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, I don't know how I feel about this change, but we'll see. Heavenly Wings upgrade will now provide basic attack, penalty removal, even the movement to buff is removed from the target. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I already build Heavenly Wings on my ADCs right now. I still think it's uh, very underrated. Super underrated on ADCs, but that's just my opinion. Um, Rod of Healing, Rod of Ass Claps. Um, similar to the Relic Change, people are stacking uh, the stack bonus healing. Now only the strongest healing bonus will apply. Okay, so healing comps got nerfed a little bit depending on the uh, what you built. So I'm very happy about that. Enchanted Spear. In 4.5, we're taking a close look at Enchanted Spear Tree. Our first change is to reduce the cost of Enchanted Spear to allow players to pick it up just a hair earlier. I, I like the, uh, this is like an F dot word usage right here, a hair. Reduce the cost from 1450 to 1400 Spear of the Magus. Divine Runes cost remain unchanged. I respect that. 50 less fucking gold. Hell yeah, baby. Um, Spear Desolation gives mages many of the stats they would want, but it wasn't given enough stats. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it, like overall Spear Desolation is good. It's just the passive, like, it was too situational to really go down and and get this fucking item so i i respect the uh the cost reduction i don't think that's going to change too much um sphere of the megas void shard are two the same blah 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 um blah blah blah, blah. lots of bullshit increased max stat count on the passive from three to five okay so sphere of the megas might i don't i don't know i don't know how i feel about that it's kind of uh 
Whatever Soul Trap, Soul Trap stream has been struggling to compete with some of the more early game focused items that managers are currently choosing. Soul Trap is seeing a cost reduction to allow players to more easily build into the late game playstyle that Book of Thoth and Soul Blade Reaver allow. So, um, yeah, they reduced the cost. Okay. Now the god changes. Here we go. Right into the <laughs> thick of things. Let's go, boys. All right. So Aphrodite. Fix an issue with the same targets being kissed by two Aphrodites would cost them to gain permanent speed. That's kind of a... Th that. that uh, yeah, hello. All right. Well, I'm glad they fixed that. Um... Ares is an aggressive support, but a reason men have struggled to exert that pressure in early game. It's because he doesn't have fucking clear. Um, uh, shackles will now deal increased damage to minions, allowing skilled area players to help clear the way while attacking enemies. So, increase the min minion. See, th th this is something they should have fucking done like eight seasons ago. The hires is just some fucking crack! It doesn't make any sense, dude. Whatever. Um... But yeah, no, this this is good. This is good overall. It just, just doesn't make any sense why they choose like season fucking four to do that. But whatever. Um, this guy, I I'm just assuming I'm not even gonna go over this. Th he, this motherfucker is the most broken piece of shit I've ever seen in my goddamn life. So, um, yeah, the the life steal bonus, yeah, it, yeah. This is a bit, yeah, okay. It reduced the base, yeah, okay. So like overall, I don't think this is gonna kill him. This is just gonna put him more in line with everything else. But it, it, you are actually crazy if you think that this motherfucker was ever okay on release. Like I I've never seen such a broken character. I mean, like, Harris is notorious for releasing characters that they have no fucking clue what they're doing, but, um, yeah, no, that character was not okay. Uh, Hercules' change in Season 4 has resulted in him being a much better brawler than Season 3, allowing him to impact fights at all stages of the game. After seeing how he's played out, balance changes, looking at you, Shield of Regrowth, we saw him surviving and healing too often. Players will now have a bigger window to take Her Hercules down during mitigate moves. Okay, so they increase the cooldown to 15 seconds, 17 seconds. Okay, I mean, I don't think that's going to change much. Herc is still going to be played. Um, Jingwei during blah, blah, blah. Jingwei is obviously, if you guys don't know the state of the game right now, Jingwei is easily like one of the worst f fucking hunters in the fucking game. So, um, I I'm not even going to read the rest of this shit. Base stats increase the base health from 17 to 78 per level, so she'll have more HP towards the uh, later stages of the game. Increased base movement speed. Okay, I respect that because she's kind of like an evasive character. Explosive bolts decrease the cooldown. Okay, so this is more just to help her out. I don't think this is going to change her position in the meta, but she's definitely, she might feel a little bit better to play. Um, Nemesis Swift Vengeance seeing a large change in how it's used before. Before, if you canceled Swift Vengeance using the second dash the ability to go on cooldown, you would lose the second dash. Now, when canceled, Nemesis will have up to two seconds to use the ability again. That is cool. Interesting. It's interesting. So now, Nemesis can use abilities and basic attacks in between her first and second dash. So you really, that adds depth to Nemesis, which is good death is never a bad thing her second dash still goes on cooldown after two seconds they probably have to increase two seconds seems a little bit too short but that's just me fix an issue where clients were not taken to the end of the match lobby morgan ultimate ends all right so that's the, the another morgan bug fix because you know the character's too fucking complicated um thoth Baiting enemies using their escapes and cooldowns due to final gems become a staple for Thoth players, but frustrating. Um, he just doesn't need a fucking stun. I, th I think he was fine without it. Like, but maybe I'm on crack. Maybe I'm the crazy one here. Final judgment increased the mana cost from 90 to 100. Canceling his ability now costs 30 mana. That's not gonna change anything, but whatever. Like, Thoth is still fucking broken. Whatever, man. And 4.4, we updated, um, they, they buffed Sean Kui, but didn't, do, like, they didn't fix the core fucking problem. So, Exposed Evil should now deal 75% of the remaining scaling damage in addition to the base damage it was already dealing. Okay, so basically a useless fucking change. So, overall, with, with this patch, the, the biggest things that you want to look at, um, Nemesis, Death, and, with the character, um, this character... Need it, it got nerfed, Ares. Okay, the god changes, not too impressive. But overall, um, the, the, there's slight quality of life changes, which I definitely think a lot of these uh these characters needed. As far as like the new items, Mark of the Vanguard, that's a big one. 
definitely want to keep an eye on that mantle discord i think that's good hydra star okay so overall the the biggest thing you got out of this patch was the skins slight god changes slight item changes nothing too crazy kind of going on here same old meta most of the most of the game is just gonna be the same so um but yeah like you know depending on like let's say you main nemesis like that's pretty fucking cool or you, you main jingwei and it's like oh my character isn't complete shit or you main hercules which means that like you're just cancer but um regardless uh that is my patch notes um or me going over the patch notes so hopefully hopefully you guys learned a little bit of something Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed my commentary on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow my social media. Bye.